my friends, in this video we're going to work on writing our friend Elspeth's name. Elspeth is spelled E-L-S-B-E-T-H, Elspeth. So when we're starting Elspeth, we're going to start with the letter E and we're going to start over here on our left and then write our letters to the right. So our left is over here. When we write our letter E, we're going to start at the top. So you can make the top of the page you're writing on the top or one of your lines and you're going to call that the top. I'm going to call this line right here my top. So I'm going to start with my pencil at the top and I'm going to draw a straight line down towards my body. So whenever you hear me say draw a straight line down, I mean bring your line towards your body. And now an E has three lines. One long line that sits right on the top line, one short one that sits right in the middle, and one long one at the bottom. So when we write our top line, we're going to bring our pencil back to this very tippy top of this line and draw a long line to the right. See how mine follows? Right on top of your top line. Next we're going to make a little one in the middle. So if you don't have a line, like a lined paper, you can choose just a certain point in the middle. So I'm going to choose right here, anywhere in the middle of this long line, and draw a little line to the right. So from any point in the middle to the right. If we were to leave it with two lines, this makes the letter F. But we don't want an F, we want an E for Elsbeth. So we're going to add one more line down here at the bottom. So at the very bottom of your first line, you're going to start right on that point and draw a long line to the right. So right on the point, long line to the right. Now we have three lines, and that makes our letter E. Next, we're going to do our L. We're going to start at the top again. We always start our letters at the top and draw a nice straight line down towards our bodies. So from the top all the way down. And then we're going to do just like we did on our E, and we're going to move from the bottom and draw a long line to our right. So down here at the bottom, we're going to draw right to the right. We're not going from here all the way over. We're going right from our line and drawing to the right. So from here over. And that's the letter L. Next we have our S. Our S is a bit tricky. It's just going to take a lot of practice for your hand to remember how to make your S like a snake's body. To start, you start up at your top. You're going to move your pen and your pencil towards your L, the L you just made, towards your left. Start bringing it down and around like you're going to make a circle. But when you get to this point, you're going to start coming back towards your L. But you're going to bring it around and back towards your L again. So it's kind of like a snake body. It goes down and around, and then back and down around again. And that's your S. So now we have E, L, S. We want to make our B next. When you look, your B has a head, a nice round head, and a big belly. It has two, a head and a belly. But they're not full circles. They don't come on this side of our straight line. They stop on our straight line. They're like a half circle. But to start, we need this straight line, so we're going to put our pencils at the top of our line, uh, top of our lines, and draw a straight line down towards your body. So from the top all the way down, pick your pencil up and come back to the top, and we're going to draw a half circle. So only halfway around, we're going to come and we're going to stop in the middle of this line. So around like you're giving it a head. It looks like the letter P. But now. We're going to put our pencil right in the middle of this little corner that we've now made with our, with our he first head. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to jump it and bring it around again for our belly. And then it's going to end at the bottom of our first straight line. So again, from this little middle point, bring it around. And then stop it at the end of your first line. And there you go. You've got a B. You've got a nice head and a nice belly. Next in Elspeth, we have another letter E. So we're going to start at the top, draw our straight line down. So from the top and down. And then remember, your E has three. One long one at the top. So our long one at the top. One little one in the middle. So anywhere in between. A little one in the middle to the right. And a long one at the bottom. So at the very bottom of this line, you're going to slide to the right again. So slide to the right. Good job. Now we have our T. Remember our TH is a blend to make the th-th sound, like Elsbeth. 
A T with no H sounds like ta ta ta, but we have our blend here to sound like tha tha. So our T, we're going to draw a straight line down. So from the top all the way down, down towards your body. From the top down. And then your T, he wears a hat, this nice long hat at the top, but he does not wear shoes like an I does. He only has a hat on. So when you make your T, you're going to come over here a little bit towards your left. So you're going to get kind of close to this other E and draw, draw one long line on the top. So from here all the way over to the right. I'm not making two tiny little lines. I'm going to draw one long line over. And then like that, that's your T. No shoes. He's not an I. Good. So now we have E-L-S-B-E-T. And we need our H. To make your H, you start at your top like you always do. Draw a straight line down. So from the top, down. Now you're going to move over just a little bit. You're going to leave some space. And you're going to do the same thing again. You're going to start at the top and draw a nice long line down. So from the top, down. And now, in the middle, if you don't have a line here, you're just going to pick so, uh, any of the space in between here and connect the two with a line to the right. So I put mine on my middle line. And it comes from one, and it moves to the right to the next, and now you've crossed your H. Good job. We now have E-L-S-B-E-T-H for Elsbeth. Nice job, guys.